Hey, Mortgage Coach Community, Dave Savage here, and I am with Kelly Zitlow out of Scottsdale, Arizona. What's up, Kelly? Oh, how are you, Dave? So good to be back. Things yeah. are going well. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've had you um, on a call. Looking forward to having you as the star of one of our Tuesday calls again. Uh, for folks that haven't heard you before, if you could just tell us you know, a little bit about your production, how much you did last year, what your goals are for this year. And then let's talk about how you're using Mortgage Coach with first-time buyers. Yeah, absolutely. So um, my name's Kelly Zitlow. I've been lending for, can you believe it? It'll be 21 years next month. Wow. <laughs> um, and uh, last year we helped 311 families. Wow. And that equated to about $81 million in volume. So awesome. I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona, and uh, lend primarily all over Maricopa County. Awesome. And what's the goal for this coming year, 2017? Yeah, we're going to try to kick that up to 340 families. I stole Rick Shear's whole graphic that he um, shared with us all a couple weeks ago. So I already have it printed. It's already on my team's uh, dashboard, and, and we're going after it. So all right. that was well, brilliant. Yeah, well, hey, Rick Shear, if you heard that, I'm sure that makes you feel good. And wasn't that a good interview? I mean, Rick? Oh, not, yeah. I mean, and, and I, I would think that whole realtor mastermind thing is like right up your alley. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's good. Yeah. So, hey, if you're listening to this, you're in our YouTube channel. Kelly is going to share an example of a total cost analysis. That'll be down in the description. And, you know, I call these, I have these, these types of calls. I'm calling them Skype interviews. I'm calling them real world scripts. I mean, at the end of the day, I am reaching out to loan officers that are in the mortgage coach community that I know are killing it. Um, let's face it, it is, you know, it's spring of 2017 and it's not feeling so. It's not feeling like Christmas. You know, it's, it's a little tough. Um, rates are competitive. Rate shoppers are up. Um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, Kelly. You're feeling the, the challenge. It's a little different than last year. Yeah, it is. It's different. And, um, you know, different doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't, um, you know, feel great if you happen to lose. But, you know, it's one of those things that even in baseball, right, you're not always going to hit a home run. So what right. we do and we focus on doing is just being consistent with our process. So if you have a consistent process, you have a system, then you have more at bats, you have a better chance. And that's really what we use Mortgage Coach for, especially on the front end. So that lead comes in. We're doing everything we can to really just separate ourselves from all the rest if they are rate shopping, even if they're not, right? So right. our system is the same every single time. And and so let's talk about that because while we're not going to show how to use Mortgage Coach here, I want to know what are you saying to the family uh, as it pertains to Mortgage Coach? You know, we want to knock this out in 10 minutes. You know, how do you start that Mortgage Coach conversation so that when they get to total cost analysis, whether it's in person, which we've got a great picture of you of what that looks like, but I think most of the time it's not in person. You right. know, they're, they're getting it in email and they're clicking on the link, um, which, by the way, I'd love to see one of your emails, what it looks like to get a, an email from Kelly as a, as a borrower. Sure. But what are you saying so that when they click on the link, they're like, they, one, they actually click on the link, and two, they're like, oh, this is what this is. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it's pretty organic conversation. I like to first just really figure out where are they going? What are their needs? Really kind of evaluate what their uh, temperament is with regard to technology, et cetera. And then um, I just educate them on, you know, let's say that they're interested in purchasing anywhere from three to 350,000. So I'd say something like, you know, Dave has been so great talking with you. Next steps in our process are, I'm gonna send you this amazing cost worksheet and I'm gonna break down a couple of different price points based on this conversation. And I'm gonna show you a few things that most lenders don't show um, their clients. And that's going to kind of get into really your cost over a period of time, very detailed information on the expected cash to close. I don't lowball these numbers. I, I'm a conservative person. I'm going to give you real world numbers because at the end of the day, I don't want there to be any surprises. Is that fair? And they're like, yeah, oh yeah, that's great. And then, you know, that's just kind of how I navigate it. So um, they know to expect it. They know to view into it. Um, and then I love to be able to get them back on the phone and really then just kind of do, uh, walk them through it and do the live editing. So I can say, okay, and here and here, and here's how we do it. Because when I have them on the phone, then I can really direct them and direct that conversation. I think much deeper than they ever get on their own because there's a lot going on in that worksheet. So you just brought up something I think is super, 
smart. Uh, if you heard that Rick Scher call, I mean, he's doing two things. He is, you know, letting him know, I'm giving you the total cost over time. And if the other lender doesn't do that, you're missing something. And I'm doing the details, you know, so that if others don't give you the details, uh, you're missing it. And then, and then you're just also delivering experience. You're getting them back on the phone. And everybody, you're a mortgage coach, so you can have a live experience, whether it's on the mobile phone, you could drive them through it, or whether you're on the desktop. So how, what portion of the clients do you think you get into a mortgage coach live conversation with? Um, probably not as many as we would like. I'd say probably about 40%, you know, where we're, they're actually pre-connecting and, and we can walk them through it. I'd like to increase that. In fact, I just talked about that in my morning meeting today with my team on, guys, I really want to focus on just the mortgage coach goes out. We got to make sure we, we're getting a set time scheduled or here's the link for your call with Kelly. Just, you know, there's some things we can do in the process just to really make sure that that happens because I really find that um, it's it's about the information, but it's also about the reconnection, right? So Dave, do you have any questions? And they're usually so blown away that uh, they're just feeling good. And that's my platform's education. So honestly, Dave, I mean, I, I want every client to use us, but at the end of the day, if I did my job, they're gonna walk away from my conversation better prepared and educated for the home buying process. And that's cool. I love that. And then, and then what portion of the families are getting one of your videos where you've, you know, you've put the options together and now you're adding a video. Uh, what percentage of the time do they get that? Yeah, it's about 70% of the time. So that's again, something that's just a time thing um, because I do have a team and sometimes they're rolling with that, you know, mortgage coach prior to me being able to shoot the video and they're not comfortable shooting video. Right. So, uh, but we certainly try to team me in and uh, be able to do that as often as possible. And are you doing that on your desktop or are you doing that on your mobile phone? Uh, Why are you asking, Dave? <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, so Kelly had been doing it for a long time on her desktop. And I was like, Kelly, really, trust me, it's a better camera. It sounds better. You know, there's going to be other reasons. So I, I actually know the answer. But how are you digging doing it on the mobile phone? I'm doing it, and it's way better, and you were right, Dave, yeah, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah, but you, you had to change. Now, how are you doing it? Do you have, like, a little... Um, yeah, stand, tripod. A little tripod? Okay. Yeah. Right here. Boom. That's, yeah. the, that's the same one I have. But Yeah, that's the same one I have. Yeah, so that is the, that is the pro move, everybody. Uh, and then what about... Is, is there ever times where you update the video throughout the process with the client, or you're updating the oh. numbers... Always, 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 always. So one, we really had a concerted effort this year um, to really make sure that they understand they can access this from their computer or they can have this information on the go. So make sure they're downloading the app to their mobile, which is huge, right? I want them to see us and hear us when they're out shopping with their realtor or they come across an open house, we're in front of them. So I want access on the mobile. So this has been another push for us this year. And, um, you know, outside of that, I mean, I just think that it's just a clear kind of consistent communication on making sure that they know that the numbers can be updated with just a click of the button. So I make sure that they know it's a really easy thing for me to do. So if you're out shopping this weekend and you see a house and you want the cost analysis updated, just shoot me a text. I can have that done within seconds. So, I mean, I can literally be at the mall and do it. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. And, and remember, mortgage coach members, you can update the numbers from your mobile phone. Yeah. Uh, which is a cool feature that's somewhat new. So, um, so I mean, millennials love this. First time home buyers love it. What percentage of the time, if you're dealing with the first time home buyer, are you doing the rent versus own and a separate TCA, or you're just doing the total cost analysis? How does that work in Kelly Zitlow land? It kind of depends, obviously, on the scenario. So if we have somebody that's just not quite sure that they want to buy or home buyings for them, then we do rent to own. If we have somebody like they're on a mission and they're going to definitely buy, then we kind of uh, lend towards the total cost analysis. So it really just depends on the client and what they're, where they're at in their head. Okay, good. So anyways, it's no wonder you have a great conversion rate and you're killing it. One last question. Uh, how often, when you're talking to your agents, are you is mortgage coach part of the process, you know, and what is that? You don't have to do the script, but what does that sound like if I was an agent with you? And it was the part where you wanted to share a strategy or tell a story or explain your unique process with mortgage coach. So first of all, how many of your realtors know about it in, a, in an intentional way? And, and what is that? How do you get into that mortgage coach conversation with the agent? 
Yeah. I've been using Mortgage Coach with realtors, honestly, over the last year. It's in every conversation. I do a weekly realtor update. And so I've incorporated just what we do with Mortgage Coach into that. So that goes out to about 4,000 realtors a week. Um, so again, that's probably about a once a month or maybe once every six weeks. So they see what we're doing on a mass scale. And then when I'm sitting down with a realtor one to one, I just pull out my phone and just say, hey, Dave, just wanted to remind you what your client's going to see or, or um, feel or how they're going to learn from us during the process. So I just kind of walk them through it on the phone. It doesn't have to be a big thing. And I think sometimes as loan officers, sometimes we just get in our own way. We think about it too much. At least I do. I think about everything. And, you know, it, it, once you do it, you just start cranking it out and it just becomes part of your natural conversation. Good. So you're, you're, you're doing it with everyone. And by the way, for anyone who's watching this, that's a big missed opportunity. If your agents don't know that the way you deliver pre-quals, they give you a referral, the way you deliver on that is different. It's better. It's on a mobile device. It's got a video. It's interactable. You have the skills and the tools to actually create urgency around buying a home, whether it's a move up buyer. Make sure you listen to Danny Harani's real world script on how he's having the move up buyer conversation with folks. Um, you know, make sure you're talking with your agents. So, hey, Kelly, you've been awesome. Any last words of wisdom as we wrap up this call for the mortgage coach uh, tribe out there? Anything else you want to tell everybody? I think the only other thing that's really been helpful in our process is that remember, we're using mortgage coach from the lead part of the stage all the way through closing. So mortgage coach, we're doing different scenarios. Once the client goes into contract, we're using mortgage coach to be able to show things in their credit, seller tax credit, prepaids, all that fun stuff that we can't necessarily show on an LE. As we all know, the LE doesn't necessarily show the correct cash to close. So we're sending that to our clients when we send disclosures. The mortgage coach updated link goes out. We can then walk them through why it shows credits and the LE doesn't. We give them use this tool from this point through the point of closing because this is going to give you your accurate cash to close. And that has just been mind boggling because it's so difficult with that loan estimate, right? People yeah. don't get it. And why does it say this? So we have found great success in using mortgage coach and that link and we update it until they find beautiful so i mean it's it's the educational companion mm -hmm. the compliant educational compliant and and you're using it consistently which by the way mortgage coach members the consistency is important you know while you're, a lot of you right now are using this pre le you know how do you deliver rates and fees in a compliant consistent way that's a competitive advantage but Kelly and team, they're keeping it updated and it's saving you time. So let's oh, yeah. let's cover that for another call. By the way, I wanna get you on schedule for a Tuesday. Right. And, and I wanna really talk about how you use an Edge Live. I think it would be cool to talk about millennials, You know how all the things you're doing to bring millennials into the market. Because uh, yeah. you, you're clearly crushing it and clearly focused on doing that. Um, so Kelly, thank you so much. Uh, for everybody that's listening to this, make sure you check out our other real world scripts. Make sure you click on Kelly's total cost analysis in the description. And Kelly, thank you so much. Super Thanks, grateful. Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody.